Hey, Read It Forward. I'm Abby. I'm Emma. And today we're bringing you six of our favorite debut novels. My first pick is Sympathy by Olivia Sujic, which is all about 23-year-old Alice who moves from London to New York, meets a writer, and becomes obsessed with her after stalking her online. Sure, sure. And I think it's so clever the way that Olivia plays with the perceived intimacy of Instagram and the fact that everything in our digital lives is seen through a Snapchat filter. My first book is A Study in Charlotte by Brittany Cavallera. It is set in a universe where Sherlock Holmes and John Watson are real people and Sir Arthur Conan Doyle was simply their literary agent. Hmm. The book takes place in the modern day where the descendants of both Sherlock and Watson meet at a Connecticut boarding school and solve a murder. Oh, I get it. Oh, that sounds elementary, my <laughs> dear Emma. <laughs> I picked this book because I love Sherlock Holmes in all of its incarnations, and I love YA, so it was a perfect marriage of the two. And bonus, even though this is a debut, if you love it, the second one is now available. My second pick is Rich and Pretty by Ruman Alam, which is all about childhood BFFs Sarah and Lauren who begin to grow apart in adulthood when they're challenged with different responsibilities. And I picked this one because it really resonated with me. Friendship when you become an adult gets really hard. Everything gets really Everything hard. Everything gets really hard. And Ruman Alam is perfect about um, just getting those pitfalls of being a grown up down pat. My second pick is The Nest by Cynthia Dupree Sweeney. And this book is about upper middle class white people problems. Hashtag. Uh, despite that not very uh, glamorous description, I loved this book and I chose it because the author's writing is so nuanced, so charming, and so emotionally gripping. I wasn't sure if this was a book that I was interested in reading, but once I picked it up, I absolutely could not put it down. My final pick is The Chilbury Ladies' Choir by Jennifer Ryan. This work of historical fiction is set in a little town called Chilbury in England during World War II. And after all of the town's men have gone to the front lines to fight, the vicar decides to close down the town's choir. But strong as they are, the town's women decide to keep singing. And the reason I picked this book is because A, I love to sing, and B, the women singing is really a metaphor for women's expanded roles during wartime, and I love a good extended metaphor. My third pick is Dodgers by Bill Beverly. This book is about a group of teenage boys who are in an LA gang, and they're sent on their first ever trip outside of Los Angeles to Wisconsin to track down a key witness in a crime and murder him. I picked this book because Bill Beverly's writing is really emotionally affecting and I think he gives such nuance to the teenage boys in a way that is more reminiscent of a lot of YA books that feature teen girl protagonists. It really stood out to me in that way. And I also think it's the perfect blend of road trip and crime thriller. So there's our Read It Forward approved list of debut novels. What debut authors are you excited about? Let us know in comments or tweet at us at Read It Forward. And don't forget to go to readitforward.com and sign up for what we're reading, our awesome weekly newsletter.